you saw, we got unloaded this morning. And now we're headed over to Portage uh, to pick up some steel at U.S. Steel. And that's going to somewhere. <laughs> it's going to somewhere. We'll get it there wherever it's going. 500 miles away for tomorrow. After we get done at U.S. Steel, we're going to go over to the terminal and get a shower. They were supposed to turn on the uh, turn on the pass smart on this truck, but I haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to see if they can check it while I'm while I'm in the shower. Well, this is where my mom's from, Glen Ellen. I've been up here several times, but this is the first time I've gone through here. So I thought I'd shoot her a little video. Kind of neat. All right, we are here at Portage, Indiana, U.S. Steel. We're picking up three coils. Give me just a second. We're going to put this in. Status. Yard move. There we go. Let's do some yard moving. That Maverick truck beside me was torn up. I don't know what they did. They hit something. But when you get here at any U.S. steel operation just about that I've been to, there's always a trailer like this or a building that your truck drivers go into. And that's where you sign in. And then they give you that, that piece of paper right there. We're going to pick up three coils today. How you doing? I'm good. Where am I going? Uh, you're inbound, right? Yeah. Uh, you guys scale yourself in right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's back her up. are loaded two small little coils I got two more chains to put on them trick chain uh, two tarps green tarp and a black tarp and then we're out of here let's go put up all this stuff yep and we're all done up front back everything let's go as you can see, we are pulling out from behind the bay over here at Portage. Yeah, we got our pass smart on, which gives me my 70 mile an hour for passing. So that should be working tomorrow. It takes about 24 hours for it to kick into the system. We got driving to do, let's go. 